Pet Check is brought to you by Bosley's, a proud supporter of the Victoria Humane Society. Go to bosleys.com slash giving back. Welcome to another backyard edition of Pet Check. We have a basset hound puppy for you today. This is Henry and he's 10 months old. And as you might've noticed, he's very food motivated. Guess where the food is? <laughs> Penny Stone is here from the Victoria Humane Society. Yeah, you really want one to tell us all about Henry. And we also wanted to talk about an important issue today as well. But first, tell us about this cutie. Well, Henry's a 10 month old basset hound. I always want to call him Hank. I don't know why, but Henry's a 10 month old basset hound and he's lovely. He's good with everything and people often wonder when we get dogs like this in why were they surrendered because that's the question they always right. like is did he do what's something wrong, wrong? With him? what's wrong with him there's absolutely nothing wrong with him it was a family dynamics thing that happened the family had problems right. so they had to give up the dog right. so it has nothing to do with Henry and he's lovely he's your perfect He's your epitome of the perfect basset hound. He's very gentle. He's very gentle eating these out of my hand. And he became my best friend as soon as he discovered I, know. I had the treat. He's so a little he's... shy off the initial yeah. meat. And then as soon as <laughs> as soon as soon he knows, knows you, he's really good. He is good with kids. He's good with dogs. We don't know about cats. Um, I always worry about hounds with cats. But right. people have to they chase. They hounds chase. like to chase and follow they their nose. Follow their nose. And people have to remember, though, even though they're cute, they think of little hush puppy stuff. Even though they're cute, they are a hound through and through. They will bay, they will follow their nose, they will run, they will, and they're a lot faster than you think that this dog they would be. They don't look be. very fast. <laughs> they're very fast, and people okay. people don't get that, so they'll let them off leash so somewhere. So off leash is an issue. Off leash, leash well is an trained. issue, and they need to be really well trained because even with good training, a hound will be gone. <laughs> they will just follow, and I can't say that enough. And, if, and the noise means condos or apartments would be an issue. No for this condos cutie. or apartments because he will, and he does have a little bit of separation anxiety. I think it's oh, what happened so with him in his previous home. He needs someone who's home most of the time okay. he needs company I mean all the dogs that come into rescue we say that a lot but it's because right. they're moving homes they start to get the separation right. anxiety so they need that adjustment and know their love know they're safe know they're in their forever home and if I can say anything about people getting a new dog it's really important that people give them time people don't seem to give them time to decompress when they've moved home to get used to where they are they, they go through a feeling of abandonment every time they move so we have to make sure that people give them that time to just okay. decompress. And quickly, you wanted to talk about COVID puppies and COVID dogs today. We are getting a lot of COVID puppies and COVID dogs in, um, people who have gotten animals. And it's not so much they've gotten animals and now they're going back to work. We're getting more animals surrendered because people have decided their, okay. their stress level is so high because of COVID and everything changing in their life, they can't take them anymore. So we're getting a lot of five and six year old ones surrendered. So it's really sad. Aww. So. People, you know, keep your animals safe, love them, and you know, it, we are here if you need our help, but you know, it'd be nice if animals get to stay in their home. Because it's a lifetime commitment. It's not a temporary thing. If you're gonna take it on, it, it needs to be for the life of the animal. They need to be safe and loved, and that means not surrendering them when they're seniors or run into health issues when they're older, right, Henry? I know, I know, Henry you're has so cute. Lots oh. of years ahead of him. <laughs> you can go to our website, checknews.ca. We'll have a link there to the Victoria Humane Society so you can find out more about Henry and put in an application if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Ah, ah.